it was like three in the morning and your little ass is waking me up. What's the big deal? I don't give a shit what you feel. So then why didn't you just leave me alone? I'm sleeping. I just want to introduce you to one of my good friends, Magic Fingers. Magic Fingers? Magic Fingers. Who is he? Oh, is he, he is. He, he shut the fuck up. He is one of the most known Halo multiplayer MLG professionals out there. Which Halo? Halo 3. Do you like Halo 3? Holy hmm? shit. Well, look, he's here. What's up, man? How you doing? You woke me up for this. My name my name Magic Fingers. Magic Fingers, how are you? I I don't I don't know your name. Wait, can you know do you know my name? No, my name is Ed. Ed, I nice to meet you, Ed. You're Magic Fingers. Can I just call you MF? Yes. Alright, okay, MF. I I played I played I played Halo three for a long time, my friend. MF, where are you from? What? Where are you from? Do, do you, you mean how how did I get here? No, I mean where where did you live? Oh, Master Chief saved the world. Plenty oh, of my times. God. I, I, what's so funny here? I don't understand. And that's funny. I, I'm really tired. I'm just. I want you to see me play, and you, you're upset. Sure. You're upset. Why are you so upset at I, me? I, I'm I didn't not upset. Do I'm sorry. I'm just. I didn't do anything. Mother fingers. Easy. Oh, excuse me. Magic fingers. Oh, I said mother fingers. You don't even remember my name. You. I'm fucking sorry. Bitch. I just, <laughs> met, I just met you. I'm, <laughs> just, I'm just woke up. <laughs> Please, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We'll, you, you know. You, you promise you're sorry. Yes, I promise. We'll watch you play Halo Three and see how. I don't. Have you been playing? The, how are you playing? The, I don't even have that game. It's like old Master Chief Collection. We, we, we can play all the games from Combat Evolved to Halo Four. <laughs> Halo 4? Yeah. Listen, we'll watch you play. Um, no, you and I will play. I'm not playing. A custom I'm match. I'm tired. I'm tired. B- sh- t- tired? Yes, Magic Fingers, I'm tired. But Magic Fingers... Magic Fingers wants to... But Magic Fingers said no, that we don't should... Don't worry, Magic Fingers. That little piece of shit right there wakes me up. And I come to find... That's it, Magic the, Fingers. It's okay. This fucking asshole is a fucking asshole. Why, why don't you, you not want to play with Magic Fingers? You're, hmm? bringing, you're bringing strangers to my house now. This Stop. is not a stranger. This is my best friend. I watched him play in D.C. and he was fucking spawning noobs. It's bad, pawning noobs. It's bad enough you're here. Don't have anybody else in the house. Seriously. What the fuck? You don't like me here? You piece of shit. Why did I ever say? Like did I ever say why I like you, you here? I just like to be on the couch. That's it, motherfucker. Fuck you, Ed. This is my best friend. Can you and your friend just leave? What did I just walk into, man? What did you walk into? Why? Ed, who's this guy? Magic Fingers? You know Magic Fingers? Yo, you disrespect the Magic Fingers, dude? I don't care who he is. But dude, he is the legendary fucking Halo 3 professional player dude he's he's awesome dude. oh so okay he's so won, i could just bring i could just bring dollars. i could just bring people you don't know your house and we'll just act like it's all good but why do you not know him man it's like a, that's like a slap in the face dude he's fucking legendary i mean goblin is whatever but he's legendary as magic fingers man so he's then, known worldwide dude that you know what then you deal with him i'm tired i just want to go to bed what dude since when do you even go to sleep man it, exactly yeah, I know. It's a new thing I'm trying like, out. All right, well, how much how much cups of coffee you drink? Just fuck, dude. Just give him a break, man. <sighs> drink some coffee. We're gonna chill, Magic Fingers. He's gonna play some fucking multiplayer with you. He likes playing. I don't want to play. You play. You play with him. Why? Everyone's on my ass about this. 
Yeah, because he wasn't so excited to see Magic Fingers, man. You gotta fucking go along with it. You gotta go along. This is Magic Fingers, man. Shit. Yeah, what's the worst that can happen? Dude, it's fucking an asshole, man. That's crazy, bro. Anyways. Welcome to the Goblin on the Couch. My name is Raymond. This is Ed. Hi. Oh, man. Do you drink? Yeah, I got my coffee now. You got coffee? Because yes. we got to talk about games. And on the couch, previously, in the beginning, before we started this podcast uh, episode, we had uh, a couple of, uh, well, Goblins has been around my life forever, but... Magic Fingers For forever Approximately three years forever Yeah but You know Magic Fingers Came to visit You know If you don't know about Magic Fingers He's been playing Halo 3 Hey Hey It's 7 o'clock in the morning Yeah I know When you know, did he, When did he get here? That's uh, about a couple hours ago A couple hours ago In the middle of the night He's just showing up Yeah I know But what's the big deal? It's like He doesn't have anything to do He has a job Part time bagging groceries, and then Goblin's always here. So one of the greatest Halo multiplayers in the world bags groceries. Yeah, because you know, I don't know why he's bagging groceries, but at this point, it doesn't even matter because he's rich. So he he's just rich. he just goes outside and does stuff because his parents took all his money, and uh, but if he needs money, his parents are obviously gonna back him up. But he likes living a normal life at, at the grocery store, bagging up groceries and playing Halo. He doesn't do anything but that. He's so just, he's a strange. Character. He needs a break. And why do you like have to be so hard on him, dude? I don't get it. Cause I don't know. I'm just meeting this guy in my house. Well, look, Magic I don't. Fingers, I don't care what you say about him. I'm still just meeting some dude in my house. Oh shit! He got stuck. Goblin's pissed. Fuck. Who? Did you see that, Ed? Did you see that? I. I, I won the game. The game was yeah, won I by see me. Yeah, you won the game, and, Magic Fingers. And the way, the way that I kill Goblin was I stuck his face. Magic yeah. Fingers, why do you always talk to me? Magic Fingers is too excited to even like yeah, talk but to he's, you. He's like looking at. He's always on. He just walked like. He's he's just like excited no, right he now. He has this little thing. Was he, was he attached to me all of a sudden? I don't even know this guy. I'm just meeting this guy. Halo Three. You gotta understand. It's it's those mechanics. The way the game is played. Like that shit is old as fuck. So to still be playing that game and still kicking ass, you're it's sick. pretty much you're of a sick. big thing. No, no it's you're not. a sick person, dude. He's nasty in Halo. I remember I used to try my best as a no, kid trying to be Ray, good at that game. Ray, what's wrong with him? Nothing. He's just. No, he talks funny. Are you kidding me, dude? What are you What are you talking about, dude? You know he's a little bit, you know? You got to give him some slack. He's the best Halo 3 player. You got to fucking chill. He's cool. You know, you could have warned me maybe if something like this happening. How am I going to warn you when Goblin brought him here? It's not my fault. You got to just be more respectful to Magic no, Fingers. Not gonna, Goblin would never. We're not going to start acting like Goblin's his own man here. He, he's attached to you in some sort of way. So he's even, you're responsible for this shit. Goblin loves him so much. He's even losing. He, he He's losing, but he wants to win. But he doesn't want to win. He doesn't want to play that shit. He wants to fucking play Skyrim, but... He, he no really wants. He really shocked. wants you to play fucking Halo with him, dude. Why? I don't know this guy. I don't want to play Halo with anybody. Well, look, man. Fuck it, dude. I I honestly think that he's just some. He's just a cool kid, and you just have to give him a break, man. You know, he doesn't. He's not gonna be here every day. It's just I know it's early as fuck, dude, and I I still have crust in my eyes, and I haven't even drank my cup of coffee, but it's all good because Magic Fingers is here, and he's he's gonna play Halo, and Goblin is pissed, like. He's even like, he's even fucking biting his fingernails and spitting it at the fucking dog right now, dude. Why is he so upset, dude? Shit. I well, like seeing him like this. Well, look, I got a cool, cool, cool thing to talk about since we're talking about Halo. And, uh. Oh, this is relevant. Yeah, man. Destiny. Destiny. Well, yeah. Hold on a second. Yeah, what, what do you got to say? Mm, Magic Fingers thinks that Destiny. 
that destiny betray betray me because because they made four and then after no they didn't make four they may reach and I then and, hey magic fingers and, look you see this shiny coin whoa you see this shiny coin yeah it's, my, yeah, it's nice right here look go get it magic go get it go get it buddy Ouch. there you go dude there you go what the fuck I'm not gonna have him talking all the time. Well, dude, you have to throw a coin at him. He's not. I didn't throw it at him. I just threw it away so he can go get it. This is so crazy. He's just, he's just Anyways, staring at it. Look, man, Destiny just came out with a new DLC called The Rise of Iron, and it's honestly it's pretty much the same old Destiny. Obviously, they have some new tweaks, higher light level, new uh, armor, new weapons, new raid, new everything. Just pretty much. The same, the same thing. thing that you're paying more money for. Yeah, but you gotta understand, like, this is refreshing because everybody has literally took a break off Destiny and they haven't played that shit mad long except the diehard fans, which is still pretty much a lot because, you know, when you go on Twitch, they're top 10. Like, so, so Bungie's just milking the shit out of this game. Bungie, well, Bungie is creating a out, great game. Destiny came Activision out. Activision is milking the shit out of this game. Destiny came out how many years now? It's been about two years almost. Yeah, usually, usually the sequel's out by now. Well, you know, you can make several DLCs. I mean, they promised to make a couple more games, you know, for this. It's, it's a game. It's, everything is made already, but they're just adding shit, you know? And it's like, one thing, all right, look. I'm gonna just start off with the bad things before. Thing is, when you come up with content for a game like two years after it's been released, should it not be almost free? Nah, I mean, uh, the thing is with that man, it's like I feel like they're using all that money to create the most craziest sequel, which is Destiny 2. I don't know when that's coming out, but no, they've mentioned no time it. soon. D I'm just sure. mentioned it after and what they just released. Well, look, dude, like, that game right now is going to have a shit ton of players. Dude, when that game launched at 5 in the morning, servers went down playing that game. I had a rough launch. Like, the servers just melted. Like, oh, I, didn't kids, say they, I didn't say there was plenty of freaks that don't play it. Dude, they they're, were, they're out there. It's like every single Destiny player rose from the dead and just started playing Destiny. It was insane, dude. Like, you had... People that are new, people that are like just didn't give a shit because of, they just got bored and they just came back. This is epic, dude. I think it was top five in streaming. And this is, you gotta understand, Destiny is on Twitch like the only console game that's like up there with PC games, which is like wow, which is World of Warcraft, uh, which I don't give a shit about. But, you know, LOL, League of Legends. I'm hearing well, that division. Dota 2. That division game has been one of the highest, highest selling nah, games. Nah, the division is... Uh, highest selling game. It's it's a good game, but it's a lot of... It's, uh, it's a fucking mess. Oh, I never said it was good or that I liked it, but... I don't even know what's coming out. I just totally stopped giving a shit about it. I think there was a new... There's a new DLC or patch coming out that's supposed to improve the game more. Oh, really? Well, good yeah. because that game was hella glitchy, and I just I just didn't care for it too much. The fucking, I just didn't like the dark zone part where you have to like pretty much kill people and get loot and stuff like that. It was just pretty much a cheap Destiny, and just get back to Destiny because we're not gonna change the subject off that because Destiny is a huge thing, dude. It's it's fucking celebrated, and it's it's great, man. It's fucking dope. But before we get into Destiny, mm hmm. What's good with this Power Ranger movie coming out next year? I don't are, know. Are you excited? I just everything repeats itself. You know what I'm saying? Ghostbusters, this new Kong movie coming out. Now Power Rangers. What's gonna be spectacular about this one? Huh? Is it gonna be a taller Megazord? Is it even gonna be a Megazord? Probably. They. I think they're basing it more with the show because you know the movies that came out they weren't really like the show yeah different villains and and whatnot oh, okay so you you know this, i just i hope when they still get fucked up that the sparks come out of their bodies is that does that still happen i hope so 
because that like when they used to do the slow motion and then like you used to get punched not even stabbed or sliced you just got punched and yeah sparklers came out of your body I, I like I collect super sentai and you know who's you know who's standing next to them who master chief and oh, oh no. and oh and by the way it Thanks for this. I'm going to to collect more quarter so I can buy some winter fresh. Oh, well, there was more quarters right behind the couch. Oh, if you go back there, oh. yeah. Keep. You're not gonna see that first, but you're gonna find it. Just keep. Yo, looking, you're buddy. you're such a dick, dude. Why did you? He wants to talk to you, man. You keep brushing him off. I'm tired. I'm not here to talk to him. I don't. I can't even believe we're doing the show at this time. Well, he because let's he, just get it done. He's like one of our, like Edward Snowden was one of our guests. He's one of our guests, dude. Even though he's not popular to you, no, he wasn't. He's not. A well, guest. Edward Snowden is not popular. Fuck him, dude. But he, he was never Magic invited Fingers on the is. show. No, he just showed up. Yeah, well, Goblin, you know, he it's his house too and stuff. No, it's like. not his house too. What do you mean? Watch how you word that. Um, okay, well, he's always on the couch. How's and you don't give a shit, you don't even attempt to like kick I'm him just, out at this point. You I'm don't call the tired. police, you don't even do anything about it. You just let him stay there. Yeah, that's gonna sound real normal when I call the cops. You have a point, you have a point, but yeah, man, uh, you know who's who Zordon's playing in this movie? Who I don't know, the meth dealer, the famous the meth, meth, dealer? meth maker and dealer, what? Brian Cranston. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. Damn. So we're going to see his face all blurry, and he's going to tell these guys that they need to do stuff. Righteous. You know, I, it's like Brian Cranston is, is genius, man. I mean, I don't know. I don't I don't really care for his acting on the X-Files. I don't even really care about Breaking Bad, so that's not going to really make me want to watch the movie, man. But then again, who knows? Because, you know, it... it Anybody could do anything, you know what I'm saying? So and, and be good at it. So whatever, Power well, Rangers, blah, Bill, blah blah. Bill Hader, Bill Hader's in it. He's gonna play Alpha Five. That's pretty sick. You better. I hope to hear him say "ay ay ay" like an idiot. <laughs> Seriously, ay ay ay. That's the only thing that comes up when you think about that. Yeah. All right. Well, is also it? Rita Repulsa. Rita Repulsa, played by. Elizabeth Banks. That's pretty good. She could do a good job with that. Yeah. She looks like an idiot in the... What's those movies? I'm not too sure off the top of my head. What are that movie? She I'm, just getting, I'm just getting distracted by this game. He's still kicking his Stop ass. Stop watching the game. We're doing a show. I understand that, but it's kind of entertaining. This is why we need to do Twitch, man. We should we, do Twitch one day. We will. Because, you know, I, I feel like... We are great at talking. We can be great streamers, man. What do you think about that? Streamers? Yeah, we stream games. Of course we can stream games. You want to play an indie game and just talk shit and just have fun? You can see the, the face where it looks like the guy is like nutting and, you know, it's like he's catching an orgasm or something, his face. What are you talking? What is the What? They have like little, like, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not too big on it, but it's like this little... Face things like this, kind of like emojis, but real faces. Never mind, dude. It's just, uh, it's funny. Was when, uh, you know, like when, uh, never mind. Anyways, it's just a good game. I just can't, can't resist. But, anyways, Destiny's been great. And, uh, I'm enjoying it every single bit of it. I beat the DLC storyline in like one day. Does that mean I have no life? Absolutely. Why? You know, I, it's like you know, it's interesting because it's the only game that can connect me with a bunch of people that I haven't spoke to in a long time, and just get together and just kick fucking the Archon's ass, kick Sepik's ass. You know what I'm realizing? You at this point, you're just boring me. Ed, what are you looking at on your iPad? We're going lightning round. I'm gonna name a game that's coming soon. You're gonna tell me what you think about it immediately. You said lightning round? Yeah. What the fuck Ready? is a lightning Shut round? Shut up. What do you think? Forza Horizon 3, go. Definitely not interested. Paper Mario Color Splash, go. 
kind of not interested in that either. Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered Go. I think that's an insult. Call of Duty Infinite, Infinite Warfare Go. I don't think Go. that should be in the fucking category. Pokemon Sun version. Yes. Absolutely. Pokemon Sun version is actually the version that I want out of those two. You gotta say something, but you can't just say yes. Well, yeah, well, because Pokemon, Pokemon Moon version. Go. Yeah, I will get that too, but I, I don't want both. Just want one. But why? Because you, you can't gotta, have you gotta both. get into it more. You can't get both. It's, it's sun and moon. It's different Pokemon, different, you know, you gotta just roll with the whatever you get. And what's so much better about the sun version? Uh, Gears of War know. 4. I like the Go. sun. Gears of War 4. Yes. Absolutely. Gears of War. Lightning run. You, you're spending too much time saying yes. I say yes a lot because those are the games that I want to play. What do you want me to say? Is something, a word that comes to my head as soon as you say it? What's interesting about Gears of War 4? It's a lot of Final tactics. Fantasy 15, go. No. You want to elaborate a little bit? Uh, I have WWE played. 2K17, go. I already watched too much of that shit. I can't, I can't watch fucking and play at the same time. It's just mechanics garbage. No way. And they insulted Battlefield me. Battlefield 1, go. Battlefield 1 looks interesting. I can see a lot of potential in that game. Uh, simply because of the fact that uh, it's an old-ass like setting and an old-ass game. But it's brand new. The Attack time. on Titan. It's weird. Attack on Titan, yes. Record, go. I will want to. What? Record. Record. Uh, don't know too much about that game. Metro but Prime Federation Force. Yes. Please really play really me. bad reviews. I don't give a shit. There's so many bad reviews. I don't give a shit. And that was the end of the lightning round. You were how about this? You were awful in that. How about this? I was horrible on that? Yeah. Well, you know what? How about this that you haven't even mentioned, which is the most anticipated game of the year? Busek? No. You stupid idiot. It's fucking Destiny, The Rise of Iron. It's an add-on. It's not even a game. No, it's a game. It's a game. That's going to be around for 10 years and just continue to add add-ons on it. Game's boring. Game's fun. What have you done to Crucible lately? Nothing. Crucible is just Nothing. collecting dust. Nothing. They got custom games. Custom games. Like in Halo when you used to play custom games and do whatever the fuck you want, like a shotgun to snipers match. Now you can do that in Destiny. Are you gonna fuck with the Bioshock? Absolutely not. Too long of a game. I got things to review. We'll be right back with more Goblin on the Couch. This episode is brought to you by Logan's Anytime Anywhere Cleaning Service. We'll make any stain disappear. Wine on the carpet? No problem. Need a space cleared out? No problem. Too tired to clean up after your super cool party? Let us handle it. Bloodstained walls and decomposing corpses? We are the best. Located in the heart of South Bronx. Logan's Anytime Anywhere Cleaning Service. Do it! Check us out on thegoblinonthecouch.com. And if you want to hit us up, hit us up at thegoblinonthecouch at yahoo.com. Also, follow us on that goblin dough. That's at that goblin dough, T H O. And on Instagram, the goblin on the couch, at the goblin on the couch. Enough. Enough of this. For what? Enough of this Logan shit. Dude, bloodstained walls and decompo- decomposing corpses? What the fuck is this? You're reading into shit way too much. No, I'm fucking... This is crazy. It's not even funny no more. It's crazy. Fuck this sponsor. I don't even want a sponsor no more. Dude, he's been supporting the show I don't from give the beginning a sh- at this point. I don't, I don't give a fuck, dude. How I, do you know... When, <sighs> I don't think this, we have a choice at this point. How do you know we're not connected at this point? It's like, what the fuck is this? this what do you just mean stop connected? This. I don't know what's going on. These guys are criminals from what I'm hearing. What do you mean from what you're hearing? Decomposing? No Who wants to clean up decomposing bodies? Maybe there's a reason for all that. It sounds like a legit business to me. And their money seems legit too. What the fuck does that have to do with games? That's my point. Anyways, who's this episode's featured artist, man? Fuck, man. No featured. more Logan shit. No, no more Logan shit. No, we're keeping Logan. I'm not fucking doing this if it's Logan shit again, dude. I, I swear. 
just come on, don't even stop doing that because he's gonna get pissed off. Whatever, just carry on. <laughs> Today's featured artist is Ivan Sandomeyer. I think his voice is amazing and he's on some next level shit. From his EP See Through, available on iTunes, here is Idiot Child by Ivan Sandomeyer. Idiot Child, what did you do? Told the truth, and now they're killing you. You get a passing grade, but I'm still failing. Magic Fingers, welcome back. Welcome back to the Goblin on the Couch set. Don't make him do this. Why not? Welcome back to the d- d- Goblin on the Couch. There you go, Magic Fingers. That wasn't so hard, was it? No. No, it was trouble for him. He should not be doing shit like that. Why not? What he is a guest, dude. He's he's in the house. Oh, that's what guests do. Yeah, sometimes they'll talk when they feel no, like. I it. don't even like the idea of him saying shit like that on the show, right? I now. don't understand the attitude. Nah, it kind of seems like he's like super welcome, and I I'm not with that yet. Well, what do you want him to do? Just sit there and just play Halo all day? Well, not being here was a good option. Wow, and you still like that towards him, knowing who he is now? I don't care who he is. That doesn't mean anything. 
Yeah, I, you know who you're pissing off. You're not pissing me off. You know who you're pissing off. So no, I'm pissed off. So I I understand that, but the, the guy that or the green guy that. Anyways, look, I got breakfast, man. Like, why are you so stressed out, man? I got breakfast. This is the new Cheetos chicken fries from Burger King. You want to try some of this, man? Did you Cheetos chicken fries for breakfast? Yeah. They had some of the last bits, and I just picked them up for breakfast. So I just said, fuck it. Let's just eat this for breakfast. I don't want to eat that garbage for breakfast. It's disgusting. Why do you not want to eat this? It's Cheetos. You like Cheetos, right? You just, you know. Not at this get hour. Get cheese sometimes. You want to eat some Cheetos? Not at this hour, man. Come on. There's nothing well, else. Well, look, <laughs> there's no eggs, so I'm gonna make. This. I'm gonna eat this. All right, man. Pass me some of those Cheetos. Nice, man. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna do this together. We're gonna fucking hold hands and eat these Cheetos. You they ready? look disgusting. They're not disgusting, man. They're not disgusting. I had a couple of them already. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. On, on the way here, and they just taste like cheese after a while, but it's kind of dull. Mm-hmm. And how's no. that taste? Mm-mm. I'm not doing that. Why not? That's disgusting. It's too early for that shit. It's disgusting. Mm. Mm. Maybe late at night when I'm playing 2K it's and I'm waiting shame. between games. It's a I'll, damn shame. But no, give me something to drink. It's a damn shame because. If this was even hotter, it's cold as shit right now. If it was hot, mm. I'm starting to question. You didn't get this this morning, did you? I did, but you know, they don't sell this shit in the morning. Little, well, you know when they make you've been carrying this shit around. How long have you been carrying this shit around for? Seriously, about almost an hour, some change. Bullshit. Yeah, you don't believe me? Dude, fuck all that. How does it taste? Like, is you like it? No. Why? This is awesome. This is like. Oh man, I gotta take you places to like Japan where they have black cheeseburgers and red cheeseburgers, man. Like you don't, you're not interested in like the weird shit. There's a black cheeseburger that comes out for Halloween and like McDonald's and shit. But I don't know. I thought it was cool. You still not it's just the magic fingers. Why would still you? Candy. Why would you want to eat Cheetos chicken fries? I don't know, man. It's just it's different. What the fuck is? What's so bad about it? The time. It's morning. You know what? If you don't want to eat this shit, I'll eat it for you. No, you're not that? eating anything. I'm holding this shit. No one's going to eat it. Well, you know what? Blah, blah, blah. You're not eating anything now. So fuck you. That's disgusting, man. All right. See, I guess I'm not having breakfast. That's because you're being a dick to Magic Fingers. I told you shit was going to go down like this, and you still want to be an ass. Thank you, Ray. This uh, disgusting breakfast that I didn't even eat is very thoughtful. This is the thought that counts. Yeah, definitely. Thought that counts. Thanks. I really appreciate it. Well, you know, it's, it's made all the difference. Fuck, man. You know, I just I thought I would do something for you for once, for you to fucking not be so upset. You know, and, and I'm sorry if I didn't come with waffles. Let's try to spice shit up. Let's try different shit, man. Let's do something weird. You could have brought nothing, and it would have been better. Oh, so you just want the whole typical bacon and eggs? You just want all the whole carton of eggs and bacon? Yeah, breakfast stuff. Yeah, that's what I want. No, nah, well, it's better than Burger King breakfast stuff. It's Cheetos, Cheetos fucking chicken fries, man. Damn. Them probably are hot. Um, tastes better when hot. Awful. And this kid got snot all over my fucking arm. You know what? I, I didn't think. I didn't think about what I should review for the next game, and I picked another dumb game that... Well, all right, all right. Maybe I'm just going too into the game and, and, you know, bashing it a little bit. But you know what? I got to say that Jolton Valhalla Edition is probably uh, mm, a very beautiful, dull game. If that's, a, if that's what it should be like quoted by me. A very beautiful, dull game. I, I got I to gotta say, man... It's just weird playing a game like this because you have beautiful visuals. First of all, Thunder Lotus Games created a beautiful hand-drawn game from Norse mythology. It's pretty awesome. And all these gods, and it's just really cool how detailed it is. The storyline could be... Huh. Thora, the main character, who's a Viking, she's narrating the game. And... Uh, 
she's pretty much the main character, obviously, and she runs around uh, the wilderness and this time period where it's like Viking era and all this stuff like that, and she's just with an axe, pretty much proving to the gods that she deserves a second chance of life. No, this is where you're wrong. Whatever, man. This, no, uh, you, 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 you got to pay attention to I the story. I can't. Well, the story is whatever. It's not It is not, not whatever. Appealing. From the, the get, your your character dies in the beginning of the game. Yeah. I've, in an unfortunate death before she can get into some battle. Yeah. Okay. And she dies in the ocean and drowns. All right, well. And now to, she wants to go to Valhalla. After you die, that's where you want to go. And she uh-huh. has to now in the afterlife fight a bunch of gods to try to impress them to make her way up there. Yeah. So That's sick shit. Yeah, it's pretty sick, but let's get into the stuff that's not so sick. All right, look. If you want to say that, look, this game would have been probably better off if it was a cartoon somewhere on Adult Swim or whatever, on online but or would whatever. Would you say this? Because would, would you say that the storyline from what I just said in the beginning, that's pretty good? Yes or no? Is that a good story? It does sound appealing. Okay, that's a check. Appealing. That's a check plus. Now, okay. visually and the art of the game, some of the... Picture this, right? Picture... No Man's Sky with a fucking storyline. But still just traveling and going places and not knowing where you're going. You're blindly going everywhere. And it's just like, oh, maybe I should get this power up before before we get into power ups. But it's like, we don't even know what we're doing at this point. It's kind of like walking blindly in Dark Souls and getting kicked in the ass. They tell you where to go in this game. You can go wherever you want. You game. can go wherever you want. And that's there's the beauty also, of there's this also, edition as well. There's also lit little arrows telling you, hey, maybe you should go here first. Yeah, but it's like... Uh, so you're not really that lost. So why don't they have something like a teleport? Because I don't want to have to just walk around to places. I understand you want you're me to You're a fucking Viking. See. You don't need to teleport. You're a Viking. Yeah, but if this ethereal land that I'm on, why can't I just walk to a portal? Because it's not that easy. Right, this is mythical gods. I'm pretty sure they could teleport as well if they wanted to. You know what I'm saying? Your Thor is not a mythical god. <sighs> Anyways, uh, one of the one of the one of the bosses was a giant tree lady, and I gotta say, I, I mentioned before with this mechanical wall shit is annoying. I glitched out several times. There was a part in this map where there was vines popping out of the ground and I just kept getting smacked around until the fucking trees and you know the game wall the invisible game wall thing yeah well I stepped beyond those boundaries and got fucking caught in the glitch and this didn't happen just one time it happened plenty of times that's where you're going to places you're not supposed to be going no I can go wherever I want right this is the whole point of the game and that's not the point of the game this game came out last year for PC, 2015, on Steam. You would figure, hey, maybe they'll, you know, better it up and just put it on fucking, you know, the consoles and have other people play and, you know, make a better edition. But no, still pretty buggy and shit. At least in my in my gameplays, you know, I had I experienced pretty... no bugs because I follow rules. Well, I did too, but I sent you a video. I don't even know if you even checked it. I don't even I know. Saw, I saw the video. Oh, yeah, you've seen it because I showed you it. I don't know anybody else dumb enough to get themselves in those situations. Yeah, well, whatever, man. When it comes down to the combat, which carries a huge... Well, she carries a huge fucking axe. Viking. Why couldn't they... Okay, but why couldn't they add any RPG aspect into this? Because you're a Viking... So what? Maybe she can make this fucking act stronger a little bit by getting something, you know, like make it more intrigue. Listen, she should be fortunate enough that she died and got a second chance to impress the gods and had her old axe with her. So you're saying, shit. so you're saying, all right, so you're saying that most of this, most, most of the budget was paid for just the artwork of this game. Would you say that? Because people wanted to to buy for the beautiful artwork you of this could, game. But like you said the mechanics, right? When she swings that axe, it's it's awfully slow. All right. Well, it's terrible. It's terrible. You fight mobs of people. I didn't even get to the fucking tree girl, but what what else is terrible about it? But when you think about how the story is, Viking, heavy ass weapon, of course it's gonna move slow like that. So you I accepted it. I was all a part of it. 
I said I didn't complain about it as much. I'm like, what do you think this character is supposed to be swinging a slow ass axe? You, you know, uh, sometimes I t- take the sword f- from. Yeah, some Halo reference. Get out of here, man. Whoa! I just want, I just want to, I swing like that. What? Magic fingers swings the sword back and forth as slow as the axe does, and you know that's how like. I, I don't like that because I understand time and all this shit, but like when you're fighting hordes of people, if you don't have the right special or the right god power that you get from these runes, you're going to be fucked and there's advantage. You don't have an advantage or you're sliding down the branch and you don't have the shield and it's just, this is branch roots area that you go to to get some shield to protect you from falling rocks and you slide down. It's like you're skating, but oh my God. Or if you're just good enough and so you're you, telling you me, like a challenge, you're telling me you didn't you'd not, enjoy the game. I do like a challenge. Don't get me wrong. But it's just like, oh, man, why does he have to travel slow? I don't want to have to keep mashing A to get from point A to point B. You know what I'm saying? At least add, like, a running ability. You know what I'm saying? Do you, do you, I mean... Hyper Light Drift, even even Mighty Number no. Nine was pretty decent for speed because you kept dashing. I mean, you know, it's arcade game, right? No, I think the game was good. The game was very good. All right. Well, you know, this is I gotta say, this is, there's a lot of cool things also about it. It's this giant fish, and you're walking through a sheet of ice in the mountains, and there's a giant fish. You get uh, Thor's ability from here, and you the, pretty much the challenge is to. Uh, Try to get the the hammer, Thor's hammer, Thor's hammer, and uh, make sure. I I don't know. I didn't use it and smack the fucking. Can you smack the fucking eels with that thing? With the Thor hammer? I don't think so. No, cause that dude, that shit. I'm not gonna lie. When I had like the headphones turned up and just hearing the the shaking, rattling of the ice when he just like shoots up and just pops up at you was pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty interesting, and then you just keep sliding, so you make sure you didn't go the wrong way because you would have kept sliding for a little bit. Sounds like this game was really good because of the art. I gotta say, man, I really, really, really should should tell you to buy this game if you're into like you know you want to take your time and you like good story based games, and you just you know. Well, mythical storylines and stuff like that, because this this game has like ancient gods and all this stuff like that. So, or mythical gods. If you're into that kind of stuff, then I say this game's for you. If you like cartoons, you know what, man, you, you're right. It may be. It may does. It does sound like an appealing game. To to you know, I don't know why I'm bashing it so much, but I guess the mechanical mechanic wise, if I don't know, you will get stuck in a lot of places if you don't have certain abilities or whatever. It's not the perfect game, but it's not. Yeah, I think it was a step in the right direction. They 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 kind of they almost had it. I'll say that. They yeah, almost, they almost had it. They, they had. They were they were working on something. I can see their their uh, what they were going for. So I gotta say, overall, I give this game a hot dog because it's good, but it could have been greater in my opinion. You know, it's just. Like I said, the only thing that really holds this thing together is the fucking visuals. Because other than that, it's just whatever to me. But the visuals are very important. Or maybe if it f- move fast like Diablo. No. But whatever, whatever. What do you give this rating, man? I'm giving this uh, close, but no cigarettes. Well, that's it for the show. Thank you for listening to the Goblin on the Couch. We'll be here on the couch in the next two weeks, and hopefully there's not any distractions around us because there's a lot of weird things that happened today. But, yo, Ed, you got any shout-outs, man? Yeah, shout-out to Ivan Sandlemeyer for being the featured artist on this episode. Yeah. And uh, check us out, goblinonthecouch.com. Later. I'm tired of questioning.
to get back.